Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and today we are trying out some not new, but it, like, I don't want to say expensive, but like in my opinion, a little bit too pricey. Um, we are trying out the Cover FX brand. You can't even see it. That was a horrible intro, but whatever. We are trying out, I have a bunch of stuff from them, like if I'm just looking, I have the primer, the custom drops, and the brush that they recommend with the custom drops, because girl, you're not going to play me and say that it's because I use the wrong brush. You're not going to play this girl. No, no. And I have the setting powder, a contour palette, a, the enhancer drops, a highlighter, and the setting spray. Whew. Now, I will say, I when I ordered these custom drops, I also purchased, they had this um, matte foundation that was just like a normal, I can't find it because if I'm being honest, it was just not good foundation and I chucked it and I can't find it on my vanity because my vanity is a complete disaster. So there are a lot of products in this video. I'm going to just kind of try and like buzz through them, but <laughs> it's a lot of products. So let's get realistic. So I think obviously the first two products we're going to be looking at here are the primer and the foundation. Now here's my thing. The drops, the uh, custom cover drops that I picked up, which I picked up the color N10. It's the lightest color they make. I hope it matches. We shall see. But this is the straight pigment drops. And it says that you can drop these into whatever you would like for your face. Like you can drop it into your primer. You can drop it into lotion. You can drop it into like a, um, uh, a foundation that you have that maybe doesn't have like as much pigmentation or color as you want. Boom, add more color. Like this is supposed to be just the straight pigment. So I thought, what a better thing to mix this in with than their own mattifying primer because I thought why not I mean there's nothing that says like oh hey the only thing you can't mix it in is our own brand of primer so I was like mm -hmm, we're trying it and I picked up the cover FX mattifying primer with anti acne treatment big claim for this red face so we are going to mix these in I think because I think that's a good decision and yeah I realize I'm like two years late on most of these products but like so what like I still want to try them because they're still cool and if I'm being honest like I never Two years ago, I never would have bought these. They were all way too expensive. And then now I'm like, well, for the purposes of my channel, I have to try them. That's the excuse I give myself. Now, on the website, which I, I purchased this one off of Sephora, the drops, um, it does say <clears throat> that for one drop for sheer coverage, two drops for medium coverage, three drops for full coverage, and four drops for extra full coverage. <laughs> I like this already. Okay, so I went ahead and I took... That much primer, I don't know if you can see it, it was like a pea size amount that is now dripping down my hand, but this feels kind of just like a silicone primer, which I like, that's my favorite go-to kind of primer. So I'm thinking we will just take this dropper here, and oh, I've never felt more powerful. Okay, I'm thinking one, two, three, four, oh, I'm gonna, yeah. So I'm gonna go four, or whatever that was because I don't want to not mix in enough and then screw up the consistency. So my thought process was more like, just add a little extra. And I also picked up the Cover FX little brush that they recommended, so I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna kinda mix all this together and see kind of, wow, okay, so like perfect skin match, not gonna lie, like, wow, okay. Let's see here. Think I need to mix up some more because that's not enough. And I also would not call the four drops I just used extra intense, awesome coverage because it didn't, <laughs> it didn't do anything. <laughs> Can you put these drops on as just straight pigment? Because I'm not getting enough coverage out of them. I wonder if I just put on the primer and then I like put the drops over it. You guys, we're trying it because I just, I literally in like two swipes, I used up everything that was on my hand. Why do I still have my glasses on? I'm sorry, but I used up everything that was on my hand and like it didn't do anything. So I'm gonna take some more of this primer that I just dropped on the floor. I'm sure you heard it, it sounded great. That feels pretty um, slick for a mattifying primer. <laughs> like, whoo -hoo! I feel like that just added all kind of shine. Okay, I'm not nervous. I gotta go out today for like a while and like see people. This was a bad day to try a new foundation. This was stupid, don't do this. So now, <clears throat> We're gonna grab the brush, which I lost. Awesome. Wow! Oh my god! Lost it, then fell off my chair. We're off to a smashing start. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take the... What the hell's on my brush? So many problems this morning. I'm gonna ta just take the custom cover drops and just kind of drop them right on my face. Huh? 
Now let's just try that little drop right there. I mean, if this is super intense, it should theoretically cover, right? There's some coverage. Hey, girl. Welcome to the party. That is much better. I put on like a drop. Okay. And this brush, by the way, is fantastic. Wow. 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 So that is probably, I probably did have to go in, I would say like four drops deep, like on each, like, or maybe not four, three, two to three, I'd say, to cover up, and, but it was mainly to cover up, like, the really, really dark red, like, I have one up here, here, and then over here that are super, super dark right now, and, like, they covered so well. All right, next up, I did pick up the concealer that I can't open. Um, it is their Cover FX Cream Concealer in the shade N Extra Light, or X Light, I'm assuming, tiny little bottle dropped that box. Wow. Definitely a thick concealer. That should work, actually. Um, it's a little bit too pink undertone for me, but, like, I think I can, I think I can make that work. I like how I say it, like, I'm, like, I really know what's, what, what's the deal over here. So I'm just gonna take as an, oh, man. Okay, so it's really pink undertone. I'm kind of hoping it shears out a little. And now I do have my booty blender. My booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere blender. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mush that out because your girl is a beauty blender diehard. So it's not the worst. It's not my favorite coverage. It didn't do much in the sense of brightening. I mean, it looks brighter on camera, but in real life, it didn't do much. But it is actually a decent concealer. The pink undertones didn't end up being a problem. I feel like they blended out quite nicely. Um, so overall, not bad. Not something I could use to highlight my face, though, which is kind of a letdown, a little tiny, tiny bit. Um, because when I conceal, I do like to use it as a highlighter. That's why I use my um, Tarte Shape Tape, which just as like a color reference, it is quite a bit lighter. Um, than this. You know what, though? I'm not going to worry about it. Not today, girl. Not today. I'm not going to worry about it because A, I'm already late. And B, I honestly think that this is really pretty. Like, the coverage so far and the way that it's sitting on my skin is really, really nice. I'm kind of living for it. And normally I would feel the need to kind of go through and really pat this all in and, you know, and like do that extra due diligence with the, with cream foundations, like anything creamy like that, typically gets beat in extra with my beauty blender. And I don't feel the need to, like, I feel like this would just be a waste of my life as I keep doing it. I don't know. All right, you guessed it. Next, it's time for the setting powder. Um, I did pick up the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Light. Now, I don't know why we couldn't have just stopped at Translucent. So this is, I don't, I hope that that ends up getting a little bit lighter because that shade... I'm used to like the white ones, like really translucent -y, brightening up the face. I don't think this brand really wants you to brighten your face much. That's what I'm taking from it. So anyways, I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and I'm going to go in under the eye where I put the concealer first because I mean, I always set that like this. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this and just tap it into the lid. I'm gonna find a brush, which, ha ha ha, that's funny. Go in, we're just gonna go in with this little guy. It's a Morphe brush. The fluffy one? I don't know what they're called. And we're just going to kind of go in and dabble it all over the face and set the powder. Honestly, though, the powder, like, don't get me wrong, it's definitely tacky and needs to be set. But it doesn't feel like I can feel it on the skin, which is just amazing, I think. Like, I'm so into this right now. I'm not only into the coverage that I got, which is, like, amazing, but I'm really loving how this, like, feels and sits on the skin. I feel like this is going by so quickly. Like, this is such a quick product. I'm just so, I am shook, y'all. So normally this is where I would like skip to my eyes and start going that route, but because I don't have anything by Cover FX that is that, we're gonna continue on with the, the contour kit by Cover FX. I have not opened this. I got it in the shade N Light. Again, don't know what that means. Probably should have looked at it first, but ooh, this is pretty got like this little pull tab situation a nice little what's this oh there's a card that teaches me how to do it okay so what's in here uh oh it's a little bit too dark for me I'm honestly kind of afraid that this entire palette is a little dark and a little warm tone so I don't think I'll be able to use it so the pan just got darker can you see that look at this one and it got darker and even more orangey so I have a feeling I can't really use any of these oh man that's a bummer yeah, these are, 
These are way too warm for me. Um, it was the only shade they had that I thought would mix. Apparently not. So this one I can't use. Um, but I will, as always, like when there's a product that I can't use, I always do put it on the hand, look at it, and kind of, you know, go the route of if I could have used it, let's look at the, the coverage, the blendability, and that kind of thing. So, so far I'm thinking like I actually really would have probably enjoyed the coverage on this. Like this is super blendable. I don't know how well you can see, but this really dark shade right here, like I just used my finger and barely blended it out and it blended into the skin so nicely. I mean, like it continues to, it's just a seamless color, which is really nice. Um, let's look at this lighter shade. Oh, yep. Same with the lighter shade right next to it, which is just like very, I don't even know how to describe these. They're just so creamy, which I think sounds a little redundant because they are a cream. Um, but I'm just kind of loving it and even the highlight blended out really nicely too. Like look at all of those. They blended together so well. I like created like a brown ombre on my hand. That means that I am going to go ahead and I'm actually going to do a lot more on my face. I will come back because I still have three products. I still have the um, Custom Enhancer Drops which I picked up in the shade Celestial and I know what everyone's thinking like idiot you were supposed to mix those in with your foundation but I thought it would be kind of cool to take these and maybe place them like on my upper cheekbones like just a tiny bit and then set them with the perfect light highlighting primer no powder can't read um for the compact version so I thought that would be kind of cool and then I also have the setting spray so I am going to go ahead finish my beat and I will be back when it comes to the keys, I'm gonna glow cause that's all we got left. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I went ahead and I started my eyes. I know they're not finished cause they look crazy, but I finished or I started my eyes, did my brows, did my blonder brush situation. The reason that I stopped on my eyes is because I was thinking it would be awesome to see how this highlight translated on the eyes. Cause I, w I really want like a nice pop of something and I was like either this one or the enhancer drops. Cause I haven't really looked at either yet, but I'm kind of excited um but I wanted to stop and turn the camera back on so we could do it together this is a good place to start so let's take oh my god it's like liquid what keeping in mind I oh, what I've never played with this before but that's insane I'm probably like the only person left in the makeup community that's never played with these but wow okay that's gorgeous that's going on my eye these going on the eyes are a little bit underwhelming I feel like they kind of just soak in and they don't have that same reflective power. While it's still damp, I want to go in with the highlighter, which I should probably swatch first. Oh, very pretty. Not the color I thought it was here. Let's actually swatch it somewhere you can see it. I don't know if that's actually going to pick up or not. A little bit. That's kind of a weird cover, like color. I don't know. That doesn't seem very, like shimmery at all I feel very underwhelmed right now yeah that adds like no shine like that should be giving me way more oomph and va va boom it didn't do anything that highlight didn't do anything for my eye and neither did the drops which is really shocking for how amazing they look on my hand but don't get me wrong maybe it's just because they're not meant for your eye so now I'm gonna go ahead redo and refix this eye and I'm just gonna finish my eyes real quick because this didn't work out but actually you know what no I'll go ahead and I'll highlight the face first we're already here we might as well just commit so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of these you know custom shiny drop things and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingers like really light I'm just gonna kind of dab it onto the cheek because I don't want to go in like ridiculous but like I want to see what it looks like without me going in too deep here oh, okay now see that's pretty there's a very nice like luminescent quality see none over here just the tiniest little bit. Yeah, and see, like, I just built it up, and it's, like, super shiny. So I don't know. Maybe it's just the issue of the lid. Like, maybe you just can't get that same pop of color on the lid. I'm not really sure. Because here, it was definitely buildable and, like, nice and beautiful and intense. So it went on better, I think, as a brow bone highlight than it did as an inner eye highlight. Maybe it's just not good for, like, where things kind of get creasy, but... Honestly, on the cheeks, that is blindingly beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish my eyes, and I will be right back. So I went ahead, I finished up the, all the different steps I was doing. I didn't turn the camera back on for the setting spray, which I don't even know where it is at the moment. Oh, I put it back in the box. But what I did wanna show you guys is that this has a really nice sprayer on it. Like, look at this, listen. Amazing, right? Um, other than that, I do have some thoughts on the other products. So I definitely like 
the custom enhancer drops so far I only took issue with one thing and that's this blemish over here as I was putting on like my bronzer and my blush and all those different components I do feel like that blemish actually uncovered itself which I was kind of like rude but I mean that could have been a mixture of different things so I'm not gonna like judge it too harshly but overall my my skin looks really nice and like smooth through here porcelain it's not breaking up on my nose to speak of which I really like um overall it worked okay the enhancer drops worked very nicely on my cheekbones and a little bit on my brow bone they do not work for the lids I don't know if this is just like something everyone else already discovered and I'm just new to it but they did not work well for me on the lids um if truth be told they actually kind of ruined the eyelid look I had going but I tried to save it so if they look a little janky that's why um but other than that the setting powder is actually really really nice I like it it was very very nice and like soft and forgiving which was really enjoyable I did not and I don't know if it's just me but I did not enjoy this highlighter like it it seems like it's such a golden color and I, then when I swatched it it just it was so underwhelming let me I want to make sure I'm like in the light for this but it was just so like like wah wah like it doesn't do anything it doesn't really reflect anything and it's in the shade Moonlight. And I'm like, Moonlight, reflecting. I'm thinking like, Becca Highlight, like bam, we're going there. And then it was just like, Meh. So I tried to put that up here and it just dulled what I had with the enhancer drop. So I was like, no, not doing it. Um, but other than that, the, I, like I said, I like the setting spray. I like the other stuff. So I'm going to get scooting and I will check back in at the end of the day, let you know how we're wearing. But so far, feels very nice, light on the face. And I'm I'm okay with it so far. My blush looks really intense and I'm kind of hoping it doesn't look like that in real life because right now I feel like I look like a clown. So if I do, sorry, but I'm going to go and I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. Okay guys, so it has been about seven, eight hours since I put this on my face and I think my final verdict is that I give it like a seven out of 10. And the reason is that I feel like it did get cakey like up in this area, we got some cake going a little bit. Um, I feel like it does look pretty nice overall, like it looks even complected. And I think more than anything, what this is going to need is a refinement based on your skin type. I don't think that it would be fair to try it one time and be like, I hate this. I think that it really is going to require a lot of, you know, does it work with this base or that base or what can I mix it in with to really make it work best for me? Um, so for today, I give it a seven out of 10. I was like outside in the heat for part of the day. It was hot. So I can see that that would like maybe affect things. I will be, I will probably try this like one, two more times before this video goes up and I'll probably put like in the description box, Hey, this worked better than this. But for right now, I think that the primer did a very nice job it's been on my face for like about seven eight hours and my like there's no shine like there's no oil buildup anywhere around here so I think that the primer did a very very nice job primer foundation combination maybe it was the setting powder I'm not sure but that part of it looks very nice um and I think again I think the foundation worked out pretty good um the only part that I'm a little disappointed about is the concentrated the shiny like infusion drops I did as a highlight and I'm kind of disappointed about those because I feel like they dis dissipated after a while hi don't you hate it when people interrupt you when you be trying to film? So rude. Um, okay, so let's keep going through the products. I think that the Cover FX, I mentioned this before, not really in my color tone. I thought I could have used it, but I guess I was really wrong. Um, and like this color right here, I thought was really weird that it had like that big of a color change. Um, but overall, when I did them all on my hand this morning, they did uh, blend out very nicely, which I thought was good. I mean, like consistency was good, uh, coverage and blendability, all that was very good. This highlight's actually kind of pretty. Um, it's not like, it's not the most blinding highlight in the world, but like it's, it's nice. I feel like none of their stuff is very like poppable. Like, like this highlight isn't very intense. It's more of like a subtle glow. Even the one that I bought in the shade Moonlight, also a very subtle glow. I mean, it's pretty. And very soft but not like not what I would expect from like a highlight you know I just I don't know like it's all very underwhelming to me in the highlight department but I also like a blinding highlight if you liked a more subtle look this might be a good one for you and this palette you know might have a good highlight in there for you um, I do think like I said before that the uh, mattifying primer worked really nicely and I think that if once I refine the use of the custom drops I think that they'll be nice too um, and who knows it might have just been like a combination of what I put on different products I would imagine that giving that their pigment drops maybe they're a little bit finicky because they are pigment drops you know they're there's gonna be a little bit of finesse there um, 
And the infusion drops, like I said, I think that these are going to be something that might be best if they're worked into the foundation. Like maybe, you know, when you're mixing um, like a BB cream together and you're like, okay, here's my favorite lotion, a couple drops of the custom like pigment drops, and then maybe a drop of this to like give some luminescence overall and then go in with your normal highlight. I think that's what I'll probably try next. And I'll put in the comment box below how it works so that way you guys kind of know my thoughts on that part of it. But overall, I do like this foundation and I can definitely see like what the benefits were for it. I loved that it was just straight pigment. There have been so many times that I've said like I wish that this foundation had more color for the consistency or like oh how is it possible that I can put on so much of a product and get no coverage and what I loved about these custom enhancer drops is that that was not the case like these it was just straight pigment you put it on and I actually if I'm being completely honest I actually really like this brush. Like this is a very nice brush. It's like dense, but very soft. So it really helped like work the pigment into the skin and it didn't just like sit on top as a film, which I was kind of concerned about given that it is straight pigment. So anyways, I think that everything overall, oh, and the setting spray, maybe that was part of the reason why it stayed matte. I didn't even think of that. It is a mattifying setting spray. I think their mattification situation that they have worked out is very good. That's what I'm trying to say here, guys. <laughs> So I'm going to get going. I have an itch right on my face. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye. Choo, 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 choo.